Do you have existing Tomcat applications running inside of virtual machines that you'd like to migrate to containers, but aren't sure where to start? Hi, I'm Mike Coleman, a developer advocate at Google Cloud. Apache Tomcat is one of the most commonly used Java web servers, and many enterprises run production Java web applications on Tomcat servers inside virtual machines. Those same organizations are looking to migrate those applications to containers and enjoy the benefits of containerized, cloud-native environments such as Cloud Run or Google Kubernetes Engine. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Google Cloud's Migrate to Containers to help speed those modernization efforts. It is a common practice to deploy multiple Java applications to a single Tomcat instance. This means the day two operations of these applications, such as deployment, logging, monitoring, and scaling, are all tightly coupled. This approach usually comes at a high cost in terms of deployment velocity, testing, and troubleshooting. By migrating applications to containers with Migrate to Containers, we will, by default, generate a migration plan which splits all these co-deployed applications into individual containers. This allows you to benefit from not only having a smaller footprint, but also allows you to utilize modern capabilities such as service discovery, elasticity, cloud logging, cloud monitoring, and automated CI-CD pipelines. All of this ultimately allows you to speed up your deployment and delivery times while decoupling operational dependencies. By default, Migrate to Containers uses the Tomcat Community official image from Docker Hub as the base image. However, this can be replaced by your own hardened and specifically tuned base image. And as mentioned before, Migrate to Containers also recommends splitting all the code deployed applications into individual containers in addition to generating Kubernetes secrets for your sensitive data, such as key stores and trust stores. Once containerized, these applications can be deployed on the different platforms supported by Google Cloud, such as Anthos, GKE running in either standard or autopilot mode, and even our serverless container platform, Cloud Run. Having this breadth of choice enables you to focus on your application's features as opposed to managing your infrastructure. If you're interested in learning more about containerizing and migrating applications to GKE Autopilot, we have another video that we will link down in the description. While containerizing a single Tomcat Java application manually is possible, containerizing tens or even hundreds of applications is a long, labor-intensive, and error-prone process. With Migrate to Containers, you are able to orchestrate and automate these migrations at scale using migration pipelines. To learn more about migrating VMs to containers at scale, you can visit our GitHub repository to experiment with our example pipeline, which is powered by Tekton. We'll provide a link to that repo in the description as well. When looking at migrating existing Tomcat applications to containers, there are four discrete steps to the migration process. First is discovery and assessment. Migrate has a fit assessment tool that can be used to help identify what workloads you have running and which are the best candidates for migration. We recently released an updated fit assessment video, which you guessed it, we will link in the description. Next is setup and planning, including deciding where your migrated application will ultimately run. As I mentioned earlier, migrated Tomcat applications can be run on GKE, in standard or autopilot mode, Anthos, and Cloud Run. The third phase is the actual migration. Since that's the focus of the remainder of this video, I won't spend a lot of time describing it here. The final phase deals with how you manage applications after they've been migrated. Because Migrate to Containers provides you with the resulting Docker file, deployment YAML, and any additional dependencies, you can easily manage updates to your code via your standard deployment pipelines. Let's double back and drill down a bit into the steps associated with the third phase and what you'll see in the upcoming demo. First, we'll create a GKE autopilot cluster. Then we're going to provide Migrate to Containers a source VM. The migrate processes will inspect the VM and generate a migration plan that we can edit as needed. From there, it will generate the deployment artifacts and a build script which we will use to build a Docker container. We'll then deploy that container onto our autopilot cluster. With that, let's jump into our demo. Okay, so as I mentioned, the first thing we're gonna do is set up an autopilot cluster. So I'll come in here, I'll click create, I'll select autopilot and click configure. And because it is an autopilot cluster, I don't have to worry about provisioning out nodes or networking, security, any of that stuff. I basically just give it a name. 
I pick a region and I click create. So we'll call this one Tomcat Deploy. And then we'll come down and we'll leave it in the region. We'll click create. The next step is to ensure the VMs we want to migrate are stopped and they are. And you'll notice here that there's actually a VM for a database and then one for our Tomcat front end. I've already migrated the database, so I'm not gonna do that in this video. We're just gonna focus on migrating this Tomcat VM right here. Now we're gonna create a migration source. And a migration source just tells Migrate to Containers where to find our source VMs. So I choose my processing cluster. I give my source a name. We'll call this Tomcat source. I'll click next down here. We're gonna go ahead and let it create a service account for us. And that's all it takes to define our source. So with the source defined, we can start our actual migration. And we do that by clicking create migration. Then we give our migration a name. We call it Tomcat migration. We'll select the source from the dropdown, which is the source we just created. We're doing a Tomcat container for this migration. And we're migrating off of this Tomcat Pet Clinic virtual machine. So with that, we'll click Create Migration, and that will define a migration plan, which we can edit in the next step. And here's that migration plan. It defines a bunch of things about how we want to migrate our container. For this video, we're just going to take off this unique identifier here at the end of the name uh, for both the container and the migration itself. So we'll get rid of this because we don't need it since we're just migrating one container. So let me delete this. I'll come down. I'll delete this. And then we're going to save this off and we're going to generate our artifacts. And those will be the final thing we need to actually deploy our application. This takes a couple minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and I'll rejoin you when it's finished. The artifacts have been built and I've downloaded them here into Cloud Shell. If you look, you'll see here we've got this scaffold.yaml. We use scaffold here to deploy our actual application. So let me issue the scaffold run command. That's going to go out and it's going to build the container. It's going to push it up to the registry and then it's going to actually deploy the Kubernetes services and the deployments and the stateful sets, et cetera, that we need for our application to run. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up in the video and I'll rejoin you when it finishes. Now that that's finished, let's go ahead and grab the Kubernetes service that was deployed so we can get the external IP address. Put that up in our browser and that's going to show our running application. So what we've done here is we've taken and migrated the application from a virtual machine to a container using Migrate to Containers. I hope that demo showed you how easy it can be to not only deploy a GKE autopilot cluster, but also how simple it can be to migrate an existing VM-based workload to Kubernetes. For more detailed information, check out our documentation as well as the other videos in our Migrate series. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be alerted whenever we publish new content.